flying Delta because they don't force vax their employees. Oh. It's Amy. Hi, Amy. Ron calling from Cabinets to Go. How are you doing? Oh, good. How are you? I am, Thank you for calling me back. No problem. I work here at the corporate office, so I'd had your complaint escalated up to me. Uh, what what I happened? That. What happened? Um, well, um, I was dealing with a salesperson. Rory was my salesperson. Mm -hmm. um, there were three people involved, um, and I've talked to. Let me let me back up a little bit. I think, um, and I don't have the dates in front of me. We own a restaurant, and I'm here, so I apologize if it gets uh, noisy. Um, we, yeah. I ordered Shelly White um, and Granite Counters. Do you have my order in front of you at all? Or uh, yeah, I do. Have it? Yeah, I have it here. I think that was at the middle of August. Was it that I placed that order? That's right. I think it was the 18th of August. Does that sound right? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. Um, we um, placed the order then, but Shelly White was not on a special at that moment. So he took the order as Arctic White and um, then said he'd switch it to Shelly White when the special came up. Mm. So I was okay with that. And I did the DocuSign, everything, gave him. Uh, fifty percent down, paid the balance. I'm also doing granite through cabinets to go. Um, so that was all completed once we were able to switch the product to Shelley White. I can't remember if it's really Arctic White. I know it was a different white. Mm -hmm. um, but so we went ahead and finished that up, and then uh, he said, "Oh, bad news. The ca there's two wall cabinets, but we'll just they'll they'll be in soon. We'll just." Put Put them down. I, everything seemed very casual. I was okay with it. Mm. Um, mm. We scheduled Kurt, who is the installer. We paid for installation of tin cabinets. Um, and then they said, well, Kurt's not coming out until your whole order is, is arrived. Mm -hmm. And I, I said, well, when's the, the order coming? So we all know um, that um, there's a, a issues with shipping. And, and I, I believe I have two mm. wall cabinets on a shipping container off the coast of California. Mm -hmm. But um, um, that was holding, that's holding up everything. In the meantime, we've demolished our, um, we don't have anything to cook on. Like, and I, once again, we have a restaurant, so I can always eat, we're good. Um, but uh, it turned out that um, I talked to, I called on Thursday, it's Rory's day off. And I've talked to three people there, Rory, my salesperson, Jamie, who is a general manager of a Schomburg store, who has told me through the course of the delay for the two uppers that um, it's ridiculous. So I felt like he was on my side, but he really couldn't do anything. It's not his store. Mm -hmm. And then Tim. And Tim argues mm -hmm. with me. Mm -hmm. um, but I, And he sent me a string of emails which said my cabinets would be in at the end of October and shipped to me. And my issue is on the 4th and 5th, this Thursday and Friday, um, I'm supposed to have, I'm scheduling Kurt, the, install, the installer, to come in um, to put the cabinets up. And nothing's been confirmed because I've kind of been on hold with them. <coughs> We're like, oh, he's sick. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> like, this, I, I get there's an issue in this world with shipping and stuff, but they're trying to charge me an additional $400 and I made the decision four weeks ago not to have Kurt or not to pay Kurt the $400 extra because I was um, maybe three or four weeks into the contract and I was okay with that kind of delay. Like, I was okay with the month delay. I understand. But we're now on two months and there is no resolution and we don't know when these cabinets are coming in. Um, and the, we, I mean, we, I, so now I'm like, well, this is this now moves into the cost of doing business. Um, I offered to split it with him. I offered to give the cabinet guy like free. Uh, we own a Texas Roadhouse, and I'm I offer to give him some free food. You know, just something if he can just stop by and make a quick trip to put up two uppers. Um, and Tim's like, well, that's not what you said um, a month ago. And I, 
he was talking over me. I couldn't get, I was, I was going nowhere with him. So I said, I'm, I'm going to get off the phone. And I said, goodbye. And I, he, I, I, he won't let me talk to Rory. who was my original salesperson. And, um, I just feel like he, he's a little rude. I mean, not even a little rude. I was blown away. And then he sent me a string of emails that actually supports exactly what I'm saying. He said our cabinets would be in in October. They're not here. It's November 1st. So is it? Yeah. So and then you know I'm. It's a little. We're a little bit heightened because we're leaving for Europe for two weeks, and um, I I don't have a kitchen, and the granite person's calling me saying I need the can. Like it's your granite people, majestic. Um, mm-hmm. I don't know if that's an installer nationwide or locally, but um, she's like, I need I need to get in there and template your cabinets. But I'm like, I can't do that for you because I don't have any. I don't have, I mean, I have a blank hole in the middle of my, I, I have no stovetop. Um, I, I had a moment's notice I can get my sink out, but I left that there. We're just rigged it so that, you know what I'm saying, so we can operate. We're just changing granite and adding in a uh, an island and another buffet and a dining area, just so it all matches. Um, so I'm my my issue right now is that they're holding up everything, waiting on two wall cabinets mm-hmm. that don't have anything to do with the base, yeah. where, and then the granite people can't come in, and they're ma- they're charging me an additional four hundred. And I did make a decision not to pay the 400 four weeks ago. I, and it was October 2nd that I, I wrote an email and said, you know what, I'm not going to. I'm just going to wait for the cabinets. I'm okay waiting until the last week of October. I was okay with that. Um, but we're now past that. So I'm asking for some kind of compensation for my time, the fact that I don't have anything in my kitchen and um, that it is in another delay, and it wasn't the original agreement that I had with Rory, my salesperson. And Tim said, "Oh, yes, it was. Yes, it was." And I'm like, "No, it wasn't." I, I he he sent me the email back that said exactly what it is. It's not. And last week in October, we were, Rory said he drive the cabinets out. The last week in October, they're not here. And Jamie read to me, and I've dealt with three people, so I'm like everybody's got a piece of this, unfortunately. Um, that the uh, um, the cabinet said they were at sea, which doesn't. I was pretty upset hearing that because that sea means they're truly not anywhere near us, you know. So, um, well, and I mean that's just my side. I don't know if you've talked to the store. I apologize. It gets loud in here. So. Okay. So I'm just uh, making some notes of everything here. Now, um, there is one thing I did want to discuss with you. Actually, I just finished having a conversation with one of my guys over there. Um, I believe it was Tim that I was speaking with. Have you, you've dealt with Tim okay. before, correct? I'm sorry. Hold on. Go ahead. There you go. Sorry, I own the rest, and everybody wants a piece of me. But go, go ahead. That's debatable. I've blocked them all out now. Oh, good, good, yeah. Um, you said you owned a restaurant, is that right? Well, we own a Texas Roadhouse. We're probably, there's only, uh, I want to say under, I would say about 20 franchises left. Oh, so that's one of, those, so. one of those franchise type places, is it? Um, well, where are you calling from? Where, like, what? City? It's just, <laughs> it's just funny that the words "owned" and "restaurant" are used so loosely these days. You know? Oh yeah. So yeah, it is. Yeah. But, um, the, mm-hmm. it, we there are corporate stores. We have six six hundred restaurants, but we have not been bought up yet. So we still have ours. Wow. So, Good but stuff. we're hoping to. I'm done with this. But yeah. <laughs> So yeah, I had spoken with Tim, and he said you're not very, you're not going to be very happy about this. But the, uh, from what I understand, the items are currently on a shipping container off the coast of California. Were you made aware of that? Yep, yep, that's what I heard. Now, and Tim had told me to let, 
Tim had told me to let you know that the entire order has come through in Arctic White. Um, Chalet wait. It's in our garage. It's been there since uh, October 2nd. So the ones you have in the garage are the other one. But yeah, the ones on the shipping container, they are the Arctic White. Now, is that what you were expecting or no? No, we were expecting Chalet White is the two uppers. Goodness. Now... From what I understand, there was an altercation between yourself and Tim the last time you spoke. Is that right? No. I mean, no, I know. I just didn't. I, he's, he's, a, he's pretty aggressive. Like, yeah. I mean, it's, like, if I handled the restaurant like that, um, I would not be in business. It's not. A, it, he just it was a accusatory, and I got off the phone. I'm not. I was driving. I'm not. I was driving up from work. I wasn't in the mood to. Uh, or, you know, in the mindset, because I had to focus on the road and I was in traffic. Um, I just said, you know what, I'm getting off the phone. So I did. So. Okay. Um, so here's so the. What, what, so what about those two uppers? You know what, I don't even care. If, if somebody comes back later, um, it's fine. I don't even care. You know what I'm saying? But to tell me that, I, that Kurt's not coming out for a whole project, that's. He told me that, and then he also, but Rory said that Kurt would come out, but to come out again, they would charge $400. Yes. So I've, gotten, I've gotten pieces, different answers for the same question from cabinets to go. All mm -hmm. three people have told me different answers. And you know what? I didn't write it down. I didn't commit it to memory because I just took it. I, I was more than willing to wait for a whole month. Mm -hmm. For like literally, I was wait. October, uh, we've had them sitting in our garage for almost a month, and I was ready. I was okay with that. I was okay to for them to come this week. And they're not here. So mm -hmm. my issue is, he kept saying you you told us you did not want to pay the four hundred dollars, and I didn't in the beginning. I mean, I was like, okay, no, I'm not paying for No, I wasn't going to pay the $400. But here's the thing. I mean, I'm just, I'm, I'm just checking online, and you guys are charging $22 for a 10-ounce steak, and not even a good yeah. one at that. So surely you can afford the $400. Yeah, Excuse me? Well, I'm just saying you're haggling over the $400. You guys are charging $22 for just it doesn't a 10-ounce steak. Do you know, steak. You know what, what is the I price mean, of the steak? Well, it's not twenty two dollars. You know I mean, I'll what is the cost? I'll, I'll bet you it's what not. What is the cost of labor? I'll, I'll bet you it's not twenty two dollars. What is the cost of supplies? I'll bet you it's not twenty two dollars. How much do you pay your employees? No, it's not. Do you what, pay what your do you think our profit margin is? Why are we arguing about a profit margin of our steak? Do you pay? I'm talking about cabinets, and you well, want because to you're arguing about the price of our installation, and you're saying that our labor and our installation, and our time, isn't worth as much as yours, and yet you're charging twenty two dollars for a steak. I bet you pay your staff like nine fifty an hour. And, and then you're too cheap to pay for installation of your cabinets. What did you just say? What did you say? I didn't hear you. Well, I mean, you're, you're haggling over the $400 installation cost, but then you're reeling off all your labor costs and the cost of the stake to me like we don't have costs. It's very short-sighted, no? Right, but you know what? When I don't, it, when, I, when I, somebody gets a stake and, and it's not up to their standards or uh, miscooked it's medium well versus rare or medium rare we eat the cost of the steak because we know it's the cost it's the cost of doing business so we take care of the guests yeah. because we know we did something uh, right. in error it has nothing to do with the actual cost hmm. it has to do with customer service and i and i'm happy to wait and i've been very um, able, uh, able to wait and <clears throat> waited for so let me ask uh, you another question if I came into your restaurant and just started arguing with wait, you that I, I, I wanted $400 worth of steak about the restaurant. for free we're not talking about the no you brought, the, you brought the restaurant up five or six times you kept mentioning it so I thought no, you wanted to talk about it I mean you, you, re you repeatedly I brought up the fact that you own a restaurant here. you repeatedly I said it I it's noisy here are you aware that you drop your restaurant ownership or alleged restaurant ownership into conversation about once every three minutes? Right, because it was noisy here, and I apologize for the noise. Do you ever find this yourself not getting invited to, to parties a lot? Why are you arguing with me? I'm not trying You're to argue with you, ma'am. There's three people here listening to you. 
Oh, great. Okay. Unbelievable. What I'd like to do, what I'd like to do, ma'am, is give Tim a call at the store now and just see if I can ask him to to go do the installation. Is it okay, though, if I put you on a very brief hold while I just speak to him? Would that be okay? Uh, You can call me back. I'm getting another call right now. Thank you. Ma'am, I can't do that, I'm afraid. Our system doesn't work like that. If you're you're not able to... You fucking cunt. She did not like that logic being thrown at her, did she? <laughs> they, they charge $22 for a 10-ounce steak on its own. Like, I'm sorry. I bet it's not even a good one. She's just fucking hanging up on me. What the fuck? Hello? Hi, you've reached Amy Crest. Oh, this bitch. I'm going to keep calling her now. She, um... Hi, you've reached Amy Crest. DS says Texas Roadhouse is good. All right, Munson said it's good as well. All right, fine. <laughs> I don't know. We don't have those here. Ma'am? Hello? Yeah. Are you there? Yeah, ma'am. Obviously, if you're not willing to work with me, what I'm going to have to do is just cancel the order and return the cabinets that are waiting, okay? I guess, why? Because you've just hung up the phone on me and you're saying you refuse no, to no, work I with me now. I said I was getting another call and right. I couldn't hold on for you. But you're currently I on mean, a call. You're currently I'm on sorry? a call. You're currently on a call. I- now, I, I, I do you, put you on hold. Do you to want get you back? Do you want some kind of resolution here, or do you want me to mark this as resolved and move on? It's entirely up to I, you. I'm well, sorry. What? If, if, if you mark it, my husband on the call. If you mark it a resolve, that's not that's not factual because. Well, if you hang resolved. up, if you hang up the phone on me, I can't do my job, can I? Well, okay. So I, we're back on the call. Can I'll you move forward, you. or can you not move forward? Because we're on the call to talk to you now. It's can an, you move forward? It's entirely up to you. Are you going to kind of grow up a little bit and stay on the phone? Did you ask me if I'm going to grow up? I, yes. I, I, I own a $7 million my, business. I serve 7,000 clients want to hear it. a week. He want to hear it. You, you are, are you going to grow up? Wow. Proof if proof if proof were ever needed that money can't buy taste. What's your name, sir? <laughs> my name, sir, is Windsor. Would you like me to try and help you, or do you just want to keep this crazy argument not, going with both of you yelling you at me? Not me. With money He's in already class. insulted us. Okay, He's so so I'm going to go ahead and cancel the remainder of the order. I'm going to return the cabinets. No, and, you're not. Um, if you do that, then you'll be picking up all the cabinets because you're canceling the order, and I'm not giving you permission to cancel the order. I don't need your permission. So you'll be I acting in your path. I don't need your permission. Oh, you don't need my permission? Okay. No, no you have no authority over me whatsoever. If you're not going to cooperate and you're going to you be childish... You have no authority over me. Well, I do. I mean, at the moment. Clearly. Oh, you have authority over me? Yeah. Wow. The big man behind the phone, he has authority over me. You really want to go there, do you, buddy? Huh? Is that a threat? You're the one calling me the big man, big man. You called me classless. Mm-hmm. And then you put words in my mouth. Yeah, I'm just wondering if $7 million is going to be enough to remove one of those cabinets from up your ass when I come over there. <laughs> This isn't happening. This is like a. Uh, it's like I'm being punked by somebody. I can assure you, you're not, sir. I mean, the only time you got punked was when you married that woman there next to you. Well, we're gonna. Uh, can you please escalate us to your supervisor? You want to speak to my supervisor? Yes, please, Windsor. Okay, no problem. Can you hold for one moment? I'll see if I have one available. Thank you. Okay, bear with me, madam. That's Your hysterical. call is very important to us. Please hold. I don't know why anybody would bring together, like, who cares who paid what and who makes who, how much money. Like, that doesn't even... No, make, I didn't say I make like, any money. I said I own a $10 million business. I mean, I make a dollar. He, he, he looked up and he said, you're an alleged owner of a restaurant. Who cares how much you make? You don't have to prove it. Stop anything. talking. Like, stop talking. They can be listening to us. Stop talking. Stop talking. Everybody. Hello, and 
thank you for waiting. My name is Scoby, Supervisor, Cabinets to Go. Who am I speaking with? Uh, this is Mike Craddock and my wife, Amy Craddock. Hello, Hello. Mike, Amy. How y'all thank doing Thank you today? for taking the call. We appreciate it. Oh, you're very welcome. What's going on today, guys? So, um, long story short, well, I don't know if you're, I don't, you probably deal with a lot of cases. I'm sure you do, but our case is we ordered all of our cabinets, um, I believe like August, um, wasn't a monster order for you guys probably. Um, what was it like 14,000 Amy? So we ordered all these cabinets. Um, a majority of them came in, but there was three uppers that, you know, were on a ship, which is no fault of yours. Um, they're just stuck out on a ship or in a container. You haven't got to them. And we're pretty understanding because we understand the supply chain is jacked right now because we own our own business. And so it's a fight. So um, we uh, had the first set brought to our house and it was put in to uh, our garage, which isn't a big deal. Uh, it's, not, it's just taking up space that wouldn't have been used anyway. The problem is we were told that it, we were going to be able to get that the other cabinets were going to be here. So we tore out our center island and our ability to uh, cook, which we don't do that much of, to be honest with you. But we do two or three times a week. And the, the problem tonight is we're, we're trying to resolve because they were trying to tell us that the installer was going to charge us an extra $400 to come out a second time to hang the uppers. And our problem is that we, we, we didn't think that was um, really f fair or right or, you know, the, 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 the way I would do business. And, and so tonight, our problem is Amy was, Amy had called the phone and she'd gotten off the she had said, and she wanted to add me to the call. So um, she left well, the call. Well, can I tell, can I tell him what, what I, uh, we, I had agreed on a, October 2nd not to, uh, to have the $400 charge because he said they would be, at, we would have our cabinets at the end of, October. And I said, okay, son, I'll just wait. That's what we're doing. We're waiting. Well, it's November 1st. I called on Friday, the last day of October or the business day in October and asked what the status was. And, um, I was treated rudely and, um, I got off the phone because I didn't believe that I, I knew that that was By not going to have any resolution. It, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to interrupt but, you. Who, who treated you rudely? <laughs> Um, Tim, he was at the uh, Indianapolis store. Um, he kept saying, you chose not to pay for them. And I said, I, I, exactly. I didn't chose not to pay for them on October 2nd with the agreement that the cabinet would be in at the end of October. I was willing to wait. And we did. Um, and, but now, now that that agreement um, with this stipulation that we were going to get the two upper cabinets by the end of October. Um, that is obviously a null and void agreement. Um, and yes, I'm I, showing the order has been like canceled. Literally going back to the, to going back and asking, what do we do now? Sir, I, I'm showing the order has been canceled as of today. Um, what? Well, that's another, Why? Uh, that's, that's a, okay. So this is where she was talking to, uh, I believe his name was Windsor. And she wanted to get me on the call because I don't, I wasn't part of that call. I don't know what he said to her, but apparently it was so appalling that she wanted me to get on the call. So I got on the call and she said, hey, just, this, this is my husband. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. You can go ahead, Amy. I'm sorry. Um, uh, so I apologize. I'm at work. We own a restaurant. Um, he told me. Oh, congratulations. Yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> congratulations. I say? hope COVID didn't affect you all right. today. So he told me that I, if we owned a restaurant, I we could afford four hundred dollars, which was completely offensive. And he said, I just looked up what you charge twenty two dollars for not a very good steak, and um, if you charge twenty two dollars for a very good steak, um, you can afford to pay the four hundred dollars, which like literally was shocking. That was just said to you. Coming from yeah, he told oh. me just said to me. Oh, sir, no, it's no, worse. Said, what he just said to me said, was incredible. <laughs> well, you know what he said? He said, and then he said, he said, um, I said, sir, I, we charged $22 for a steak, but do you have any idea how much that steak costs? Do you have any idea what labor costs? Do you have any idea what shipping costs? 
you have any idea what our overhead here is cost? All right, all right. And I've he heard said, enough. You, that's you can obviously, it. that's ridiculous. He told behavior. me he was going to come across the phone and shove the cabinet, the cabinet up my ass. <laughs> I, and then I said, am I being punk? This can't be happening. This is I not real. Like, literally, I was like. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You're not into that kind of thing, are you, sir? <laughs> What's that? Yeah. No. You're not into I, I that, are you? Joke okay. call, like, my wife put me on the radio station or something. I'm like, this this can't be happening, what this guy is saying to me. And that was just the end, the worst part. That's where I said, can I just please speak to your supervisor? I hope you guys recorded it so you can listen to the whole thing. You took the words right out of my mouth. I am. Assured. Every call is recorded. <laughs> Every call is recorded. Oh, we need to get wow. this order back reinstated from what you all are telling me. Uh, do me a favor. Hang on the line here for can, one he moment. He just canceled our order, and it's all in our it's all in and, our front. And I told yes. him, do not cancel the order. We're not giving you permission to cancel the order. And, and you specifically told he, him that, sir? Yeah, you'll have to listen to it. You you, you really have to listen to the. You'll, you'll, you'll be shocked. You'll be shocked. I would do so. And... I would do so. <laughs> Unfortunately, I do have to place the two of you on a brief hold. We need to get the order back Understood. reinstated. Understood. It has to come back. Thank you. I, I have to. We have to process it back on his end. So just one moment, please, okay? Mike, Thank literally, you. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. Why are you shaking? Your call is very important to us. Please hold. <laughs> I mean. But we just got we got somebody on their last day, I think. Go for Windsor. Hey Windsor, Hi, how's everything going over there today? Yeah, good, good. What's going on? Look, uh, have a escalation that was sent over me a few minutes ago. I believe you may have spoke to the two parties here. Uh, oh, was it that you... was it that guy that I transferred over to you? Yes, yes, sir. Oh yeah, okay. What's what's going on with them? Look, uh, I'm not so sure what happened. Uh, bottom line, I'm gonna need that order back reinstated. Oh, I no no, no. I cancelled that shit. I cancelled that shit. That bitch was on the phone to me for like 20 minutes, right? And I swear she just kept her, I own a restaurant. I own a restaurant. <laughs> yeah, she was awful. Absolutely awful. What a what a stuck up cunt. And then she gets her husband on the phone and he's like, I own a seven million dollar business. <laughs> so I right, fuck them. Um yeah, I I've I've cancelled the order. Fuck that. Yeah, I'm getting that snobby cunty vibe from from the boat. Oh god, I yeah, yeah, admit. yeah, yeah. Pair of, pair of cunts, pair of them. On it. They deserve each other there. They fully deserve each other. So, so the order's fucked, right? We're, we're, it's, it's done with. Oh, I could, I could reinstate it. I just, I'm not going to. Like, I, I locked it and everything. I closed it down. Fuck them. Okay, okay, good man. Just no yeah, worries. Just make something up. Tell them they got to reorder or whatever. But yeah, I spoke to Tim earlier. She was being a cunt to him as well. I, I like, certainly like mean, seriously. Oh, oh! oh. And if she tells you that she owns a restaurant, she doesn't. She's a fucking franchisee owner of a Texas roadhouse. Look, I'll deal with this bitch of shit. I'm sorry yeah. to disturb you. I had a steak there once. It fucking sucked. Like seriously, uh, look, look at what they're charging for that shit food. Honestly, fuck them. Anyway, fuck them. Just make something up. I got you. Cheers, Thank bu- you, sir. Cheers, buddy. I do want to thank the both of you for holding there. Uh, sir, I, I'm I sorry to interrupt brief... you. Um, I think you made a mistake when you transferred lines. And I heard your associate tell us to fuck off, fuck them, called my wife a cunt bitch. Um, I heard all Hang of on, that. You're a little difficult so to hear there. You, 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 are you making so a complaint about big, the old music? You have big problems now because I'm, if you can listen to how we're ta- I'm talking to you with respect. What he's saying is crazy. I, I'm laughing. I thought I was getting punked. And I heard every word he just said about us. Can you, what can you say to that? I'm confused, sir. Are you complaining about the hold music? That's what you're telling me? No, no, no. No, I heard you and his entire conversation. He How called my wife a wrong. cunt bitch. He told them to fuck themselves. He's not hang on, redo hang the on. Order. I heard all sir, of it. You, you like, are on hold. You no, know, I was listening to you, you two talk, and I just listened because I'm a good listener. I don't get uptight because I deal with guests all. I deal with. I, I deal with clients all the time, so I'm real good at listening because that's where you learn. That's what my dad taught me. A wise man listens. So I was just listening to your Windsor and use conversation about 
us how she went on for 20 minutes and that we're not, that we're just a franchise. I have no owner, idea what you were true. talking about. Sarah. I heard everything nothing you said. Was said. Nothing was like, said. I just want to know what, no, what are there, you going to say to There was that? no conversation, none whatsoever that took place. No, no, no. I have no idea. Sir, what sir, you're lying through your teeth. Come on. Like, that's crazy. I'm not even, I'm in shock right now because I heard what he said. I have no idea what you're talking it, about, sir. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> I don't have the greatest news wow. to pass along here. Yes. There appears to have been a, a system update you, uh, ever since you didn't the do update. It. You didn't do it. You, you didn't say anything bad. I, I, you didn't. I, I listened. You were very professional. He was not. Who, who are you referring to, sir? Uh, are you all calling from a separate line here? When you, when you attempted to put me on hold, I heard you and Windsor's entire conversation. Heard the entire conversation. Shoved the cabinet up my ass. Okay, sir. Are you asking me to do that? Or I'm not? asking you. I'm asking you. Can you please account for the conversation that happened when you just attempted to put me on hold and spoke with Windsor, and he called my wife a cunt bitch, and he he, he told us that, that we could fuck off, and to fuck him, he's not changing the order. Um, sir, there was nothing would, but a chat. Could, could, I had a chat. That, with that absolutely, associates. sir. I did not I'm, even I'm, speak to it Windsor. Was I did not even said, speak to Windsor. God, God is watching this whole conversation. He knows what really happened. Um, and it happened. I, I just friend Ray was like that. <laughs> I can't even believe you're denying it because you didn't. You didn't do anything wrong. You, you were completely professional. But and here's the sad thing that that, that person works for your company, and you're going to allow them to get away with that and then do it to another one because when you don't do anything or even validate that it happened, you're validating it's okay to do it. That's not okay. And trust me, I've said bad things about a guest when they're not listening. But guys, I just heard everything he said about myself and my wife, and especially my wife, because... Is she tearing up right now in the background? I don't think she's there, or she'd be speaking up. I am here. Oh, you're on there. I'm sorry. I thought I I heard something. I have thick skin, as we all know. I, look, I'm going to look into this a little bit for, I, I don't know who you all spoke, who, who you heard exactly, but I, I'm going to bring this gentleman on, on the line. I want, we're all going to discuss this. If that's okay. Give me about a few seconds here. Okay. Yes. Uh, yes. Thank you. Amy, you won't believe what that guy yeah. said. I, I was on. Oh, you heard it too. Yeah. You heard it. Well, very good job. Not, not talking. I'm proud of you. Yeah. That's hard. That'd be hard not to talk. Windsor Castle, can I help you? Hello? Shove the cabinet up my ass. I'm sorry? Windsor, I think uh, I think your supervisor was trying to get you on a I'm group call. I'm sorry. Who, who, well, well, sorry about this. Who, this, am, I, this, who am I speaking with? Yeah, we this, seem, we seem to be having... Mike and Amy Craddock. Um, somehow your phones got tied up, and when he called you... We heard everything you said about my wife and I. All the cuss words you called her a cunt bitch, all those things. No, sure so what you mean. You on the line Mr. To talk to you about it. Mr. Scobie, I, to... sorry, shut up for a minute. Mr. Scobie, are you still on the line? Yes, I'm still here. I'm sorry. My, oh, my gosh, yeah. Back. I saw the call was Can coming from, from your line, yeah, but there seems to be another gentleman on the line. What's, what is going on? Yes, this is the gentleman that you had spoken to maybe 10 minutes prior. Uh, you had actually sent oh, him. Oh, yeah. I believe it was yourself. You sent him over to me. Yes, correct. Yes, I believe there was a problem with the cabinets and we needed a supervisor to uh, try and help resolve it. How's it going? Yes. Um, uh, apparently what they're saying is that they spe- they told you specifically not to go ahead and, and start that, you know, the, the cancellation of the order. That's, oh. Those are the words right out of his mouth. Oh, gosh. No, that's not. That's not what we discussed previously. Um, no, he had told me that he, 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 sir, I thought you didn't want the order now. You had hung up the phone and you had said that. you didn't. didn't say it at all. And Windsor, you know better. Come on. And you also know that you just called my wife a cunt bitch and told us we could fuck off. You're not going to fucking change it. I, I heard that did not say that, sir, at all. Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry, but I did not say that to you. Why would you say that? Why would you make that and, up? I would never make something up like that. Come on. Recording deleted. I mean, I don't know what you're talking recording about. Recording deleted. Wow, there we go. Let's just delete the recording. 
I, <laughs> he deleted the recording. How 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 clever! It's like Hillary Clinton's phone; it just suddenly disappeared. Um, I'm sorry. Is this is, is this a joke, Mr. Story. Scobie? What is happening here? I'm confused. I no, would, the, I would the, never use that language with a customer. I'm I'm shocked. No, you didn't know I was on the line. That's the problem. You, you, Look, I'm not so sure you, what's going on here. Let, let me get to the bottom. You did tell me to shove the cabinets up my ass. You so, did say that. So you did kind of, kind of use that. I language. did not, sir. Excuse and you, me, but you told I, me to shut up on this call right at the beginning. I did. And look, I'm being reasonable. I'm like laughing because I still feel like that's a radio station functioning. me. <laughs> and I know it's just not. That was, the most, get that was the most awkward fake uh, laugh I've ever heard. If I act like you act. Sorry? I, I, I said, I, I also know I'm not going to get resolution if I talk to you the way you talk to me. Mr. Scobie, this, this gentleman did cancel his order. Um, I made no, a note not. here Absolutely of the, not true. the, the, not the true. time, but. He he asked to cancel not, not the order. True. I cancelled the order, and unfortunately, you would have to go back to the store and, and initiate a new order. There's no other way around you, it. You followed all no, the regular it. policies and procedures for that cancellation, correct, mm -hmm. Windsor? Yes, sir. Absolutely, I have it all documented here. Oh, okay, uh, sir, are you still there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, uh, you know, as long as all the policies are followed, I'm afraid that there's no there's no error certainly on our end. That that order, it is canceled. Wow, um, that's amazing. It's disappointing um, <clears throat> because it's just disappointing that your this this entire thing doesn't even seem like it's real. I'm thinking I'm going to wake up from it. Not the fact that we're not going to get the cabinets. The fact that that gentleman talked to us the way he did on the call. And then that oh, gentleman stop, stop accusing me talk. of things, sir. That's uh, ridiculous. Excuse me. I, I, I let you talk. Please let me talk. Hey, sir. no, 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 no. So, excuse me. Look, I'd just like to say something, okay? If I was trying to be rude, I'd say that the reason there's so many fat guys in your town is because every time your wife blows one of them, she cooks the mistake. But I didn't do that, okay? I'm being reasonable here, but you need to stop accusing me of things. Um, you just, but even the fact that you would say something like that, and I, I'm not accusing you, you know, you did it. You've repeatedly accused me of something I did not do, sir. I'm highly offended. Well, I'm highly offended that you canceled the order when I didn't do it. That's even worse. You asked me to cancel the order, sir, no, and then I you, hung, you petulantly hung up, you hung up the but phone. You deleted the tape. I heard you guys delete it. Recording <laughs> deleted. I heard you guys do that. Like, we had a recording. That's funny. Well, you have it. Oh, that's good. We recorded your call. Oh, that's God. Great. Is she still on the line? Oh. Great customer, so, by the way. Shut up, ma'am. Yes. Shut up. I know yeah, one, no well, one wants to talk up. to you. That's great. Shut up. Not, I don't tell you to shut up. I still I, I call you a gentleman, even though you're not. Yeah, well, you and shouldn't. I, you, you, I've spoken you, to you with you, respect. You'd do well to not tell me to shut up either. You forfeited your right to be talked to with respect. And guess what? Since we do have the recording, we'll make sure that we play it everywhere. Oh, geez, what, recording to all your customers it. in the steakhouse so, or to your 100 Twitter followers, which one? Right, right. You're, you're going right. to play it to all 100 of them, are you? Ooh. All 100, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah sir. Big um, man, yeah. you really conquered social is, media uh, in the last decade, and, haven't and you? Is, is, is Mr. Scobie still online? Yes, uh, I'm just documenting the entire conversation, sir. Right, so um, that's good. So... Um, so what you're telling me is you canceled the order and you can't fix that, Mr. Scott. No, you, you canceled the order, sir. No, I did not. Not true. You gave verbal No, I did not. That's for not the true. order to be canceled. And you can't play anything to prove that, and it's not true. Nonsense. As I mentioned earlier, every call is recorded. Mm -hmm. Right. So I seriously it back doubt that Mr. Windsor there would just, on a whim, just decide to, to cancel the order. Then play it back. For no apparent please. reason. Play it back and we'll cancel the order, please. That's all I'm asking. I mean, if if that's factual, then just recording do it started. Sir? Yeah, I'm here. This is Mike. You were saying? Oh, I was just asking you to play the uh the thing back where I canceled the order. So I could hear it and you could hear it because it's not true. The, that unfortunately that has to be subpoenaed. I, I, I can't just play that over, <laughs> over the line here. So in, in lieu of good customer service to uncancel the order, 
Is that a word? We'd have to. We'd have to. Oh, I don't even know. That's a good point. Did you, did <laughs> you learn that at business school? I would have to. Uh, I would have to file laws to get the order. Look, if you back. if you really if you really want to attain happiness, why don't you go unmarry that wife of yours? <laughs> you should be a stand-up comic. Um, the uh, uh, and if you notice, I never get upset. I've never been a jerk. Only you, Windsor. You're the only one throwing out insults. Which one I've of us has already insults. pointed out his never net worth? Out which which never one lied. of us? Which one of you. us? Which one of us started the call by boasting about how much his business was worth? Just remind me. Um, well, that's not true. I said I. I said your customer service is poor. Yeah, you, I run a seven million dollar business, and I don't uh-huh. treat anybody that way. Mm-hmm. That's what I said. Mm-hmm. Truth. You think you run a seven million dollar business that makes no money, and then I have no dollars to pay for the cabinet. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I never told you a net worth. Are you kidding me? Bit, I would never tell you a net worth. A bit Maybe like, I have no net worth. A bit you like, don't know. I don't know. A bit like owning a crappy steakhouse franchise that has no customers, right? Sure. Mm-hmm. Sure. Just voted the best steakhouse in a two million dollar city. I mean, in a two million dollar <laughs> in a two million population. A two city. a two million dollar city. Yeah, one. that that sounds about right. What is it? Some kind of fucking shanty town? A two million dollar city? What are you even talking about? How do you run a business right, so, when you're so, so incompetent? Anyway, uh, Mr. Uh, the, the supervisor. So you're telling me the order's been canceled. Hey, wait a there. minute. Congratulations. You just got voted the stupidest customer of the week. Do you see how that works? We can all just make up fucking awards. Mr. Shelby. Who? Mr. Your Shel- Mr. Sh- Mr. Shelby. <laughs> Are you confused? For someone who well, runs a $7 million dollar business, me. you have a severe lack of attention to detail, don't you? Um, I'm asking for your supervisor. You're still on there. I'm not going to get into the insult game with you. I'm above you. I, oh, I oh, 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 you're above me, are you? You're, you're above yeah, me. I don't you're make above insults. You're ab- please speak to your supervisor again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're above me. Yeah, you, if you say please and you beg me, I might let you, little man. How about that? Otherwise, I'm going to hang up and you're not going to get your cabinets, are you, douchebag? I already said please. I'm not going to repeat myself. Say please, sir. I'm going to get off the call. Amy, go ahead and hang up the call. Yeah, Amy, fuck we'll off. Just, we'll just end fuck the off, call. Amy, fuck off. Amy, go ahead and end the call. Amy, okay. if you, Amy, if you ran your ass around the block as much as you run your mouth, you wouldn't be so fat. <laughs> <laughs> Scobie, do you want to call him back one more time? <laughs> yeah. All right, there you go. Tell him I'm off the line for now. Maybe I'll do that trick when I come back on and you can't hear me. Sir, it's scope. <laughs> they're, all, they're all upset now. <laughs> I love it when they fall for all the tricks, the whole trick and everything. Hi, you've reached Amy Craddock with Texas Roadhouse. Please enter your pass. Sorry, five. Sorry, one. Sorry. Damn it. One more try. And then we'll move on. Sir, it's Scoby. Yes, it's Scoby, the supervisor. I disconnected the line with that prior agent. It's just, it's just the two of us, or the three of us, I should say. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, sir. So uh, let me just start off by saying this. Okay, I'm kind of put in a rough position. Uh, yeah. You know, I can only yeah, kind of go by the information that's listed in the system. I've worked with that gentleman for close to 15 years now. Now, I don't. You know, he doesn't have a reputation. Uh, he's, he's just been a, a class act. I don't know how else to say it. But you all are telling me something completely different. Now, as I mentioned earlier, uh, you know, I, I certainly want to go ahead and try to help you all out as best that I possibly can. Uh, well, so and certainly- I appreciate that. And I think if you saw how I conducted myself when he was still throwing insults at me, surely that would show you that... Um, I, we were never well, doing that in the first part of it. When yes, I, I was observing the banter between the two of you. I, I kind of thought do it that. was That's the two of you. I mean, I deal with it. I deal with upset guests all the time, so I get called lots of things. I'm on the, the words really don't hurt me, and I was, you know, I actually called Amy when I hung up and said, "I'm laughing about this. I'm not even angry. I just want resolution." 
and I never want to talk to Windsor again. <laughs> was it the accent? Hey, no, hey, douchebag. Hey, I'm douchebag. I'm Portugal and London. Hey, I'm douchebag. Hey, douchebag, can you hear me? The supervisor can't hear me, but I just wanted to say I don't want to talk to you either, you fucking prig. You're yeah, a fucking yeah. loser. So I want to see what I can do to try to help you all out. Uh, give me a second here. You'd have to have a lot of patience to be married to that fat bitch, though, seriously. Especially at meal times. Did she... And again, sir, you did not give permission to go ahead and cancel the order? No, I did not. Did she buy that franchise just so she could eat lots? I bet she did. I bet she did it for the leftovers, didn't she? I've been looking at your social media, by the way. Like, seriously? That bitch has a hell of an attitude for a fat, ugly woman. And so you do give me permission to have that call pulled if, to file a complaint with that representative? Yes, please. I don't want this fucking job anyway, I'll be honest with you. I barely get paid more than a fucking Texas Roadhouse employee. Have you all ever experienced a situation so much of this in the past in, in terms of, the, you know, not with the complaint necessarily, but in terms of the cabinets and the delivery? Was there any type of issue before in the past? Delivery was phenomenal. Salesman was phenomenal. We ordered. Um, the other gal that worked there was phenomenal. She was excellent. Did you um, suck the salesman's dick? Did you, you got to ask my wife. She dealt suck, with more with it than I have. Did your wife suck the salesman's experience. dick? I bet she did. I bet she sucked him off to get a good deal. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. How come your wife sounds like a 40-a-day smoker? Is it because she works in the restaurant trade? She has that gravelly voice, do you know what I mean? Manish, manish, you know, masculine. And sir, when was the original date that the, the order was, was to show, to arrive, I should say? Uh, Amy, are you in the call? Yeah. Uh, uh, big fat Amy on the call. Me? Big fat fucking Amy. Here we go. Oh, the restaurant. I'm sorry, man. Amy, you cut out. Were you saying something? No. Amy, I don't, Amy, I don't believe the, Amy, I don't believe the supervisor can hear um, Windsor. So of course he can't hear me, why? you parrot dumb ignore, fucks. I don't, I don't know. I would just ignore him and tell no, sir, the I supervisor you. when you, they ordered, the, the date you ordered it. Uh, I don't know. Uh, August 18th, I think. I have no idea. I, I don't, I'm at work. I have no idea. I'm just eating food. Oh. Wait, are, are you all talking to me or the, uh, one of your patrons? Uh, no, no. Winter's on the call. On the and, phone. He said, and he told us you can't hear him. And we're recording everything he's saying. And I just told my wife. Do not respond to Windsor. You, didn't, you didn't get consent speak, to record just, my voice. We live in a two-party consent state. To I'm going to sue the shit out of you. I'm going to take that fucking restaurant off you if you if you Who's play my voice. Who's on the call, sir? A pair of cunts. Windsor. Windsor's on the call talking to us. You can't hear him. No, this is Scobie. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm Scobie. You're... Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We're, 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 we can hear both. See, yeah, the, su the supervisor's a fucking uh, dumbass here. anyway. The supervisor's a fucking stupid dumb fuck anyway. He doesn't even know what's going on. Yeah, Windsor's who you spoke to, who you're filing the complaint against. My, my name is Scobie. I, I am the supervisor. Right. No, no. Uh, and we're filing against Windsor. You fucking idiot. Correct, sir. So I, I, I can hear you all perfectly fine. Has your wife got a yeah, face yeah, in yeah. the pasta bar again? Is that all the noise I can hear in the background? She just fucking pigging out over there. What a mess. Dried up old bitch. So, ma'am, were you able to narrow down a date? Um, she's at work, so she, we, we don't have access to the, all the files that she has. Why don't you mention um, that she owns a restaurant again, you fucking idiot? We own a restaurant. <laughs> I bet you don't get invited to parties because you never shut up about your crappy fucking restaurant, do you? Can you give me a ballpark figure, sir? Do, do you happen to know off the top of your head? Um, it'd probably be mid-August. My big fat cock. Fucking assholes. All um, right. Hey, check this out, guys. I'm going to leave their restaurant a bunch of bad reviews. Hold on. Let's see what I can do here. Came in here on Saturday. Just one moment, sir. Big fat bitch called Amy was my waitress. 
she smelled like cigarettes kept mentioning that she was the owner over and over again will not be back here kevin <laughs> these silly fucks I'm having really. difficulty finding the order. Hey, Windsor, what you doing, Windsor? Switch. Oh, check this out. I had these fucking pair of cunts on the phone earlier. I'm leaving them. They're on the phone with Scobie right now, but he can't hear us. I'm just, I'm just, let me send you a link. Can you leave them a bad review here? I'm going to fuck up their Yelp reviews. I know he deleted it, but we should have it backed up. Owner is fat, ate all my food, caught her stealing french fries off my plate. Bob. <laughs> I'm going to tank their review score. Uh, you you ready to take that break or what? Uh, hold on. They're still on the phone with Scobie. Do you want to listen in? Hold on. Put on, put oh, on the sure. headset. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're yeah, talking to not? Scobie right now. Scobie has no idea that I'm on the line. Man, fuck Scobie. That fucking little up prick. Yeah, he's a fucking dickhead. He fucking wanted to dock my pay yesterday because I missed an hour. Yeah. He's a fucking idiot. He doesn't even realize I keep deleting all my recordings. He has no idea where they're going. He's like, oh, the recording's not here. <laughs> Fucking idiots. He's an idiot. He don't know how to work a computer. Uh, does he fuck? He's useless. He doesn't even know, right? I canceled their order. He doesn't even know that he just needs to put in the manager's code and he can reinstate it. But he doesn't know he that. Probably can't, he probably can't <laughs> even find it. He's dumb fuck. Stupid as fuck. I, I almost have this track down here sir just just give me i, I do apologize let's take it again that update is kind of slowed the system down a, a tad bit <laughs> but I'm, I'm going to uh track track it down for you okay good sure. fu- good uh, fucking luck with that scoby <laughs> listen to him listen to him I you, mean, have, my wa- you have my wife's phone number she can just call her back and he's sitting here wasting their fucking time both of them idiots hey check it out his cabinets are on a container ship i'm gonna ship it back to force this what is this I'm gonna, ship, I'm gonna ship them back to Korea. Hold on. Send them back to send them to a different port. <laughs> yeah, right. Hold on, hold on. I'm shipping them over. I'm gonna charge his card as well. Check this out. We've got the credit card on file. I'm gonna put some charges on there. Make it look like Scoby did it. <laughs> Check it out. I'm gonna charge them sixty nine dollars shipping fee. <laughs> get that dumb fuck. They won't even card. notice till they get the oh. next bank statement. This fucking clown probably won't even notice at all. <laughs> Check it out. Oh shit! I just realized we have the full card number here. Do you wanna do you wanna buy some shit on Amazon? Like, if you go on Amazon, look at this. I got a fake account. Is buy is buy and send the Scobie's house. <laughs> I'm gonna see if no seriously. I'm gonna see if they got PlayStation Five in stock. Hold on. Oh shit, they do. One thousand and eighty nine ninety five they're charging for it. As soon as I'm able to locate this, I'm just having difficulty. I don't I don't understand where where the order I I I don't know what well, I'll tell you what. Um how about we just get your number and we'll call you back when my wife gets home and she'll have all the information. Check out this switch with the O L E D screen. You wanna order a couple of those? They got them in Oh, switch. is this it? Hang, hang on there, sir. I'm so sorry, I think I found it. Okay, I'm gonna order it. I'm gonna order it. Hold on. Okay, I'm, hey Diaz, I'm ordering three of them. Hey, I, I got an idea. Okay. Don't they own that fucking Texas crap house fucking restaurant? Yeah. Let's send them some food. <laughs> oh shit, yeah, hold on. I'm going to use his card and order. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> he's going to be freaked out to fuck now, and he's got a very incriminating recording. <laughs> 